Hi, I'm Alexa. If any of you have a pet at home, you can understand that spending time with animals can alleviate stress and anxiety. Recently, therapy dogs have been integrated into many school and work environments. This week, we sat down with owners of local therapy dogs and looked into the possibility of NHS getting our very own emotional support dog. Um, my name is Gwen Agna, and I'm the principal of the Jackson Street Elementary School. Our emotional support dog is Jackson. Jackson, come here. Here's Jackson, the emotional support dog with his special pig. <laughs> he is a good boy. Jackson has had a tremendous effect on our school. He has made people smile a lot more. <laughs> he has made people be excited about coming to school. I hear from families that go home and tell stories about when he came to their classroom. We had a special assembly that talked about the ways that the students would need to relate to him. And so uh, we learned that there would needed to be a lot of preparation. I have also had many students who have been in a need for emotional support. One who found out he had to move to New York and it was only a few days away and he was crying and so we got Jackson to sit with him. He still s was sad, but it made him feel better. So it's really, he's had a big effect on our school. The training of service and therapy animals is an extensive process. The average time it takes to train a service animal ranges from four months to two years, depending on the skill. We were able to talk to a certified dog trainer, Sharon Walshler, to get an insight on the characteristics of a service dog. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into um, being a good service dog candidate. The dogs that are most likely to enjoy and be suited to service dog work are dogs that are very social and friendly, uh, love people, love other dogs, um, very comfortable and relaxed around uh, novelty, meaning things that they might not be that familiar with. The dog has to be trained to perform work or tasks that directly relate to the handler's disability. Um, so it can't just be that the presence of the dog makes the person feel better. The dog has to be trained to reliably do something that assists the person. So it, it, you know, it varies from situation to situation. What you train the dog to do is based on what will improve the, the functionality of the handler. Trained animals are able to provide support and aid to many people with mental or medical disabilities, an emotional support dog in NHS would hopefully relieve much of the anxiety linked with school or personal life. For more information on Douglas the Therapy Dog, contact Melissa Powergreen or take a look at the flyers hanging around the building. Thank you for watching.